We're here on the first tier at Campbell Heath for the Clutch Pro Tour's fifth major of the 2020 season. There's 140 players in the field today competing for a £10,000 first prize and a spot on the Challenge Tour, so plenty to play for. The Challenge Tour invite is massive for everyone trying to further their career. From £10,000, £10,000, it goes a long way, especially at this level, you know, so instead of just playing for money, you're playing for something in your career and all of us, we want to make forward strides, you know, this is the whole point is we're trying to step upwards and just having the opportunities to play in Challenge Tour events, to play in the Par 3 competition, you know, like big events with big players, it's just great for our career, it's a great experience and, it, you know, it's fantastic that this tour has gone ahead and really made those strides to kind of give these opportunities. I, I really like the course, I'm excited to get out there today. And uh, yeah, I'm just excited to get competing again. You know, this is the first tournament that I'm back out again. And uh, yeah, next week we're playing Scottish, so it's a good warm up. As if a £10,000 payout and a spot in a Challenge Tour event wasn't enough reward for our winner here at the Empire Construction Open, there will also be a place up for grabs in the Scottish Par 3 Championship, hosted by 1999 Open champion Paul Laurie. It's just such a great opportunity to sort of step up to that next level, playing around a golf course like this as well, which is obviously great preparation if you do manage to get lucky and get through, but yeah, just to, just to play at that top level would be, would be really good. Challenge Tour for guys like us, you know, that can just change your year, change your season. You know, you get on the Challenge Tour, then you, you have a good week in that Challenge Tour and you continue to get invites into that, then, you, you know, you, the world's your oyster, you can go anywhere. Yeah, for a year that looks like you haven't got much going on, a Challenge Tour spot would be, uh, yeah, would be, a, would be massive. halfway through the day here at Camberley Heath and Jacob Hassan is top of the leaderboard at seven under through 15 holes. Just missed a crucial birdie putt there but is in with a great chance heading into the closing stretch. Richard Mansell who is looking to set the clubhouse target. He's got a short birdie putt to go to five under par. Let's take a look and see if he can convert. Behind me on the 18th green you can see tournament leader Jacob Hassan. He's seven under par through 17 holes with a birdie putt to come. Let's see if he can make it. There we have it, a seven under par 64 for Jacob Hassan. What a round of golf that was. He set a very imposing target in the clubhouse. Coming up agonizingly short of clubhouse leader Jacob Hassan was Marco Penge, who shot a fine round of six under par. What sort of challenges did you face out there and did, will all the other guys face out there who are still out on the course? Yeah, well, I think you, there's a few chances starting out, just a few chances starting in, out in the first uh, six holes and then I think once you get through 9, 10 and 11 are playing pretty tough into the breeze so I think if you can get through 10 and 11 and say I know, the leading score is 7 under so if you can get through there and 3, 4 under par, come last 6 holes you've got a lot of great chances coming in so um, yeah we'll have, we'll have to see if anyone catches uh, Jacob. We've been treated to some Heathland gems this year on the Clutch Pro Tour for our majors. We've had the likes of Stoneham and Hollingwell before today, and today it's Camberley Heath, a course boasting more than 100 years of history, designed by the famous Harry Colt, and it boasts all the hallmarks of a great Heathland, as you can see here at the par 5 13th. Huge expanses of heather across the fairways, big elevation changes, cambering fairways, tree-lined, deep bunkers everywhere waiting to catch you out. It's a tricky little test, this one.
as you can see from the fading light around me, it's gone right down to the wire here at the Empire Construction Open. Jacob Hassan's been sitting on that clubhouse lead of minus seven all afternoon. Gary King threatened, got into a tie for second at six under. Amateur golfer Leanne Bramwell shot a fine five under par to take the low amateur prize, but there was no catching Jacob, a very deserving winner. Jacob, congratulations. What does it mean to you to get the victory today? Thank you very much. It means a lot to me. Um, it's been a obviously a tough year for everyone. But um, it's been very tough during lockdown, obviously family issues. Uh, we lost my nan through the lockdown. So yeah, it's been tough for the family. Um, but yeah, just obviously I, as I was going around actually, I was thinking, do you know what, if she can, she can press on battle cancer for five, six years, I can finish out a golf tournament. So yeah, delighted to come out today and obviously, yeah, do it for everyone that supports me. I've had so many messages. So yeah, I mean, obviously Clutch Toys is picking up massive steam now. So this is moving forward massively, but the goal for us now is Challenge Tour, European Tour, and I'm so grateful for the opportunity to to obviously get a start on the Challenge Tour in Ireland coming up. So, yeah, it's been fantastic. Obviously, it, it is great to win £10,000. It is um, fantastic, yeah. And yeah. what does that mean to you, and how much does that boost your season and your outlook um, in terms of your golfing career? I'm very grateful for my sponsors, actually, because um, it's a company called Geisha Limited. They've supported me throughout the whole thing, my three years as a as a pro. And obviously, I wouldn't be that be here today without them. But yeah, ten thousand pounds is is pretty massive. So um, I won't be spending it on anything flashy. I'm sure I'll I'll be cutting Dad in a, a few quid as well because he's been out of work. Presumably, a spot on the Challenge Tour in that event is going to yeah, be a big boost. Definitely, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. If I can go and, and put two together, uh, two rounds together similar to today, then you never know. Could be up there making the cut challenging you never know so yeah the game's coming along nicely as we've seen today but uh yeah we'll see i'm i'm very excited for what lies ahead so thank you to the clutch tour and everyone that's out here today